Obamacare enrollment began last week and was nothing short of glitchy. With me to discuss from the Department of Health and Human Services, Deputy Secretary Larry Levant. Larry, from the moment the exchanges opened, there were nothing but problems. Right. Uh, we anticipated heavy traffic both from curious people looking to find out about the exchanges and angry people looking to find fault with the exchanges. And then possibly some individuals trying to, like, set up a health care thing. But we had no idea that it would tax our iPad so much. The iPad? Right. The one we're running Obamacare on. This, this very iPad, actually. You, um it has a Bluetooth connection to my phone, but I'm just down to one bar, so we are dropping people. We're not, there are people not getting health care. Do you have Wi-Fi by any chance? Whose idea was it to run all the health care exchanges off of an iPad? That's a Bosco idea. Bosco? Right. He's a Croatian dude that we found on Craigslist. So, so, so the health care exchanges were, were set up by a Croatian guy named Bosco. You know, maybe I shouldn't have said that he's Croatian. It's making us both sound racist. No. That's not the point. I'm talking about one guy set up this whole thing. Well, Bosco is a pretty sharp guy. Uh, and by outsourcing the project, obviously we save taxpayers a fortune. Remember, we have no money to run this thing on, so. Okay, so this Bosco set up the healthcare exchanges on the iPad. Yep, on uh, Sebastian's iPad. Who is Sebastian? He's my son. Uh, this is actually his iPad. I had to delete all of his episodes of Kung Fu Panda on here so that we could get the exchanges on. It's limited storage. Okay, so. I mean, this is... Absolutely mind-boggling. Right, that a seven-year-old has an iPad. I feel guilty. No, no not just... that. No, 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 it's not that. It's, it's that this was so badly thought out. Well, Brian, I mean, I'll be first to admit, this is on me. We did not consider that Sebastian was going to shut down the exchanges every time he played Angry Birds. So, I, that's, I take full responsibility for that. So, so your kid still uses that iPad that all the exchanges are on? Only during long trips in the car. And never at the dinner table, Sebastian. Never. Uh, my wife and I are very strict about that. Uh -huh. Actually, speaking of which, if you are a citizen who was trying to sign up on the Federal Exchange and Dora the Explorer came on and explained the alphabet to you, just know that is an issue on our end. And these are the things that you call uh, a glitch? Well, yeah, that's a pretty liberal interpretation of the word glitch, but uh, yeah, I'd say that. Okay, and how long can we expect these glitches to continue, Larry? There, there, there's the good news. I can see the servers are already less congested, uh, so now we're just dealing with people who want to sign up for healthcare. Okay, and is that experience improving for them? Definitely, definitely. Although it may be temporary because, well, we're going to see the grandparents this weekend, uh, and they're in Maine, so that is a four hour car trip, Brian, and uh, this is a lifesaver. Okay. We'll be right back. Actually, I'm down to 8% better. You have a charger I could use? No, not on me. Darn.